So we've come out. Seems that we've got company. I thought I'd come out to one of our favorite <coughs> areas. There's a cold front coming in this week. So I wonder if our guest there is a hunter. I wouldn't doubt it. But whatever. It's nice to get away from the city. Uh, looks like the ponds are frozen over. So I see there's a sign over here, which really good place for a sign to be. Nobody can see it. <sighs> Open pit. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a place for a sign. But you know I gotta check it out, right? I don't know how I do it, but I've lost the lens cap to my camera again. Like, you'd think Canon would make a, a cap that when you put it on, it stays on. So now, I gotta retrace my step on that one trail, cause I know it's gotta be over there. And it's probably way down over there because I took the lens cap off trying to use my camera as binoculars. <sighs> well, at least the birds are around. I found it. It's when I went to investigate the sign. But still, a $1,500 camera, you'd think Canon would get it right, right? Okay, now I can head back. Of course, I'm just following this trail back. Wonder if the geese are leaving this week. Doesn't seem like it. Kind of heading in the wrong direction there. See the dark clouds coming? That's the cold front coming in, and I can feel it in the wind because it's just getting colder and colder. Hey, I don't know whether I should go back up that hill or go around to the other one that's more gradual because do I want to really? I know it's a good workout and everything, but... you my back hurt so bad yesterday I think I'll go around the gradual you see this hill <laughs> I climbed that hill once I almost died <clears throat> yeah so I'm not gonna do that today no I've decided I'm gonna go the gradual hill <sighs> yesterday I had to take some painkillers because I've been walking the dog in the city and of course she has to be on a leash and she forgets her place and pulls on my neck and shoulders. See, there's the gradual hill right there and it goes down. So, plus we want to stay out as long as we possibly can because tomorrow it's supposed to be real cold. It's creepy because when the wind blows, the branches snap and it sounds like something's following you or me. And that's creepy. Oh, the wind kind of died down here, so can't hear it. We got deer track here, small, very small. Hmm. 
but here we are. This is where we're gonna go up here. And here's some scat. It's coyote. <clears throat> Lots of berries. No, we're going this way. So you get to see all kinds of things when, when uh, the grass dies and the leaves have fallen. This is another trail here. Huh. Interesting. Hey, this might be a gradual hill, but it's still a good workout. Because holy... And here's the valley. Lots of trails in here. And now that it's winter, I can see some of them. Oh. Okay, we made it to the top. Holy jeez. I'll tell you, the one thing about winter is you gotta dress for the cold but then you start sweating <laughs> and it's like too much but you know having to carry all this extra weight of clothing oh look at this the gate is open wow look at this okay gate might be open but I can't and I'm not gonna try. Look at those dark clouds. Shit. But we're going back to the car now. Oh. Whoa. Why come out here and dump your garbage? Really? I know I haven't posted a video on this channel for a while but all we've been doing is uh, getting out walking trying to experience as many new things as we possibly can but uh, since I sold peaches I try to make my own adventures close to home and uh, this is one of the the trails that we like to take down into the valley there. But it's getting cold out. We have a cold front coming in. And that makes it's gonna make it really cold this week coming up. And you can see it, all the dark coming in from up north. The de geese are gathering wonder if they're gonna start heading south this week because it's supposed to get real cold so yeah I've been working on strengthening my back it's basically what I've been doing my back is getting better but it's taking time So basically I had to undress before I get in the car because I am just sweating. But got to run the dog a little bit now. So even though I take her for nice long walks, I still have to run this dog because she is just full of energy. She should have been on a farm, but what are you going to do? This is how I keep track of my dog. If I can't see her ears out in the front over here, right? And I can't see her through that mirror, then I should be able to see her through this mirror and I don't see her through this mirror because sometimes she likes to move over to my side. But 
that's how we do it and she's used to running with the car so we don't really have a problem if a vehicle passes oh there she is I see her now but this is a almost daily thing so there I see her in that mirror now